Okay, this is a uh, follow-up video for Ableton Tech Support. Um, this is basically demonstrating the problem that I'm having with Simpler, where when I play a sample, if I re-trigger the sample before the sample actually ends, ends playing, then I get a pop and a crack because when the second sample, you know, when the re-trigger plays, the original sample isn't snapping to zero before it starts playing the next sample. So if I just play a sample straight through, it's fine. But if I re-trigger it, you'll hear a click every time I re-trigger it. Now I used a different sample in the last video, but um, I tried to put this out of my head and move on. And then the next time I tried to use Simpler, I noticed it right away with this particular sample. So just to do a little bit more investigation to try to shed a little more light on the situation, what I did was I opened that same sample in battery, the same exact sample. I had the polyphony set the one so that, you know, every time I re-trigger, you know, the next note is gonna choke the first note, it's gonna stop the first note. But I noticed that in battery, when I do this, there's no popping and clicking now. So battery must have some type of, something going on in the background in in battery that smooths that out because if I if I do it here you will not hear a crack or a pop at the beginning so that's battery this is simpler now to me it's clear simpler has that crack at the beginning every time I re-trigger it but battery you don't hear it and I tried to match the volumes on both of these so that they would play at the same level so it's not like I'm cheating or anything. But I also wanted to take it a step further and I, I took the same sample and I put it into machine. And machine, it behaves the same way that battery does and you will not hear it pop and click. Battery's a lot smoother. That's, I mean, uh, machine is a lot smoother. So that's machine, okay? Here's simpler. You can hear the pop and click there, but you don't hear it here. So I don't know, um, from what tech support told me, this is just the way that sampler is made. Like, um, so they're basically saying that this is not a bug, but I still think of it as a bug because the simple thing is I don't see why anyone would want their sampler to behave the way that sampler is behaving. Like there should be something going on in the background so that you, if you re-trigger a sound, you know, that it, it will snap the ending of the first sound to zero before the next one plays. And it should do that automatically. And also what I've noticed is that it's not just me re-triggering the same sound in um simpler if i'm using a drum rack and i put a choke you know i, I set up a choke group then every time every sound that's being choked will behave the same way so there's a deeper problem in my mind to what's going on here but like i said this is just a follow-up i'm trying to keep it short and simple uh, please contact me if you have any other questions through the email thank you